Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to make this sheet pan dinner. This recipe is for my roasted cauliflower gnocchi with vegetables and it's so easy to make and delicious. And this recipe is perfect for anyone who loves shopping at Trader Joe's because we are going to be using their cauliflower gnocchi for this recipe and it is so good. And my preferred cooking method of for their cauliflower gnocchi is to roast it. I just think it has a much better texture and it's just so good. And then I'm also using one of their products from last year, their Sofrito Spice Blend, and it just takes this cauliflower gnocchi to the next level. It's so good. So let me show you how easy it is to make this recipe. Okay, here is the cauliflower gnocchi we are gonna be using for this recipe. This can be found in the freezer section at Trader Joe's. If you've never had this before, it's such a great alternative to regular gnocchi and it's super delicious. To give our cauliflower gnocchi and vegetables lots of flavor, I'm gonna be using this Italian style sorbito seasoning blend from Trader Joe's. This has a really nice mix of sun-dried tomatoes, onions, garlic, salt, and crushed red pepper flakes. In my blog post, I go into some more detail about substitutions you can make if you don't have this spice blend. But if you picked up a jar like me last year at Trader Joe's when it was seasonal and don't know what to do with it, this is a great recipe to use. And I went ahead and chopped up one red onion and two bell peppers. You can use any color bell pepper that you'd like. Today I'm using one red bell pepper and one orange bell pepper. And I've just kind of given them a rough chop. So I have a baking sheet that I've lined with parchment paper and I went ahead and added our vegetables. And now I'm going to add in the frozen cauliflower gnocchi and you want to use it frozen just how it is from the freezer. And if any of the cauliflower gnocchi pieces have clumped together, you just kind of want to break them apart. This will just help them have a better texture when they are baking in the oven. Sometimes it can be a little tough to break them apart, but you just kind of give them a little squeeze and they'll come apart. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a heaping tablespoon of the Sofrito Spice Blend. This is honestly just going to add so much flavor to the cauliflower gnocchi and vegetables and a little spicy kick from the red pepper flakes in the blend. Now I'm going to add in some sea salt and then some black pepper. Next we're going to add in some garlic powder. This is just going to add a lot more flavor. Next, we're going to add in some dried oregano, and whenever I'm using dried herbs, I like to crush them between like my fingers and the palms of my hands just to release the aroma. Next, we're going to add in three tablespoons of olive oil, and then we're going to add that, and then we're going to give everything a good stir. So you just want to make sure that all of the cauliflower, gnocchi, and vegetables are coated in the olive oil and spice mixture. You know, evenly distribute that amongst everything. When I was about to put the baking sheet in the oven, I realized that I didn't add the grape tomatoes, but luckily I remembered before I started baking everything in the oven. So I went ahead and added in the pint of grape tomatoes and then just gave everything a good mix again. And sometimes when you're cooking, you forget things, especially if you place them on the other side of the counter. So now that we finally have all the, our ingredients on our baking sheet, we're going to go ahead and bake the cauliflower gnocchi vegetables at 425 for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then I do like to give it a stir halfway through cooking. So our cauliflower gnocchi and vegetables are done. And now I'm just going to sprinkle them with a little bit of chopped fresh parsley. I always love adding a pop of fresh herbs. I think it just elevates the dish and gives so much more flavor. I just really love this method of cooking the cauliflower gnocchi. I think roasting it in the oven just gives it a better texture. And it browns and it's just light and pillowy and delicious. And we're just going to go ahead and serve our cauliflower gnocchi sheet pan dinner with roasted vegetables. I just love the grape tomatoes, how they burst and pop in the oven. And they just have so much flavor. And it's just a great way of cooking tomatoes when they are out of season. It just gives them so much more flavor. I hope that you enjoy this easy sheet pan dinner as much as I do. If you love shopping at Trader Joe's and are a fan of their cauliflower gnocchi, you should definitely give this recipe a try. I think you're going to really like how easy it is to make and it's a delicious dinner recipe. Perfect for when you like a quick and easy meal. As always, thanks for watching. Bye!